abandoned warehouse building. Of course, it had to be an abandoned building. We found a way inside, with only Rai's phone flashlight to use for navigation. The place was cold, full of trash and rubble, and every little sound created an echo. We heard yelling coming from upstairs, from what sounded like two people. Rai and I figured one of them had to have my phone. So still, with a slight amount of liquid confidence in us, we found a stairway that led to the next level. <laughs> Been there. Oh, we came geez. to a hallway, which was oh, disturbingly no. silent. The only thing to break the silence was a bang from a nearby locker room type area. Uh. Ryan and I both tried hard to make our presence known so that we wouldn't surprise any potentially dangerous people. Oh, we entered this kind no. of changing room area, or whatever it was, but it had a bunch of lockers. No one was in the Elm room. Street High. I started checking the lockers out of desperation, which made a lot of noise, I guess because we heard a deep voice from another room call us over and said that they had what we were looking for. I was about to walk into the adjacent room, but Rai put his hand on my shoulder to stop me and put his finger on his lips as he went, shh. He was doing something on his phone. I didn't